OK, let's get back to some of your calls. Julie in North Wales. Uh, morning to you, Julie. Um, how, are you, how are you feeling about tomorrow? Um, seven weeks ago today, no, yesterday, my ex-partner hit me. Um, I called the police and um, there was bail conditions that he wasn't to contact me by any means. He breached those conditions. I had to give evidence against him two weeks ago in court. He's now been in prison. For, he's been handed a 30-month prison sentence and I've been awarded a six-year restraining order. Uh, OK, well, um, let's, not, let's not go into any, any names or anything like that yeah, because well, I think yeah. it's important that we uh, respect what still might be uh, ongoing for various reasons. Um, uh, uh, would you normally be spending Christmas? Uh, Firstly, I'm so sorry as well as to what happened to you, and and uh, you have my admiration for your bravery in in trying to to to, to make a stand against such abhorrent behaviour. But also, I suppose this was your partner. You must have a few mixed feelings about about them yeah. facing tomorrow. Yeah, I do. Um, I'm trying to best I can um, I want to be on and it sounds silly but I want to be on my own in some way because I don't want to be around too many people if that makes sense yeah. so what, what, what are you actually doing tomorrow I'm actually um, at home I'm going to be watching TV are you on your own got, I'm on my own but right. I've, I, I wasn't going to make a Christmas dinner but I am going to and um, I just want to get through to the new year i'm just trying to focus on myself uh, what, what do you say camelin to someone i mean it's quite a unique position that julie is in but what isn't unique probably is 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 facing tomorrow with with perhaps mixed feelings yeah yeah what a brave um decision julie well done you for getting yourself out of that situation and well done you for standing up against it as well and i absolutely understand where you're coming from there'll be mixed feelings because there's obviously a sense of loss as well isn't there here but there's also yeah. going to be a sense of relief for you as well being able to get out of that situation and then that will all be encompassed with sadness and loneliness so there'll be a ball of emotions going on for you but i think what you definitely need to do tomorrow is do what makes you feel comfortable and by the sounds of it it's spending time alone but what i would definitely suggest is that you take a day to look after yourself to be kind to yourself to pamper yourself so don't i know you said i wasn't thinking about making christmas dinner but you absolutely should you should completely go all out and look after yourself and give yourself the the royal star treatment that you deserve for being able to get out of this horrible horrible situation so you literally have dodged a bullet it might not feel like that right now but as time goes on you will realize just what a brave thing you've done and how you were right to do that so see tomorrow it, you might not feel like it but you definitely need to mark it as a day for yourself and everything you've been able to do in the last few weeks Thank you. And do you know Thank what, you as well, can I, can I just add to that as well, that, that you're not on your own tomorrow because um, you're, you're, you're not loved or because of, 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 of any situation. You're on your own tomorrow because you've taken control. You're on your own tomorrow because you've made the decision that you're worth more than being with someone who treats you poorly. So tomorrow, uh, picking up on what Camelin said, absolutely should be a day where you are pampering yourself, but also that you're celebrating yourself, my love, because you've made a decision that you're worth more than being with someone who isn't kind to you. And so you absolutely, Camelin is right. You know, make that turkey, pull that cracker yourself, stick that <laughs> silly hat on and look at yourself in the mirror and give yourself the praise you deserve for making the decision about your own worth. And I think that that is something that you should celebrate tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Christo. Thank you ever so much. You're quite welcome. Listen, Julie, um, I, I, I hope that tomorrow's all right and I hope you're able uh, to get through it. OK, don't forget as well, if you want to give us a call tomorrow morning, you can.